explore the science behind the seemingly impossible today at the Ruben H. Fleet Science Center. The first impossible science festival began with hands-on interactive booths based around five themes. Invisibility, levitation, animation, transformation, and superpowers. The curator says the event is a way to promote education through curiosity. We learn how to turn things invisible. We learn how to make things levitate. We learn how to walk on water. We have superpowers. We have animation. And we're doing it all through applications of science to show you that even though it sounds impossible, you can achieve it through a different way of looking at it. And in this room are all the blueprints of all the props I've been building over the years. And so I took uh, different designs of different illusions and put them in different topics of science. So kids could see the show, they see past the magic and realize magic's everything we don't understand. So we have to ask more questions. And it's just been absolutely a blast seeing if I could inspire minds to, to be curious. magic one and the same, it's right? Kind of? It's whatever you don't understand is magic. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Four diamonds, was that your card? And non-Antonian, it's neither a solid nor a liquid, so you can actually slowly move your finger through it, or you can hit it like a solid. Pretty awesome, right? Science fun. Yeah. Science will make your jaw drop this weekend. And that's the, the goal of the project was to inspire people to say, hey, wait a second, uh, flight was an impossible science until so someone asked a question about lift. Mm -hmm. And so our, the right question changes everything. That's awesome. Did you get a yeah. it, wait, it actually worked. <laughs> <laughs> exactly why I'm here. Magic evokes those hows, those whys, those what ifs, those why nots, and wonder changes the world. So this show was designed to evoke those hows, those whys, those what ifs, and why nots. But I did see his whole show, yeah. and let me tell you, it's amazing from start to finish. But the Just, card thing, I'm still trying oh. to figure out how he did that. It, everything he does is, is exactly like that. It just baffles your mind. I know I'm sleep deprived, but I'm like, huh?